With the release of the iPhone 13 on the horizon coming really soon, you might want to think about your storage configuration. Now, I've been rocking out with the iPhone 12 Pro for about a year since October 2020, and I went with the base 128 gigabyte model. Now, more than likely, we will see the same exact storage configurations with this range of between 64 gigabytes through 256 gigabytes. And then with the iPhone 13 Pro, storage is ranging between 128 gigabytes to a whopping one terabyte of storage. That is nuts. Now in the past, I made a video, is 64 gigabytes enough? You guys seem to love it. And then prior to that, I made another video, is 256 gigabytes too much, essentially. So now here we are, talking about 128 gigabytes. Is that the sweet spot? It's kind of crazy because if you're coming from an iPhone 7 that has 32 gigabytes of storage, so if you jump in from an iPhone 7 to the iPhone 13 Pro, that's 128 gigabytes. So already that's a big upgrade. Do you have a 32 gigabyte iPhone right now as your primary driver? Let me know in the comments because I know it must be a struggle. I had an iPad Pro first generation with 32 gigabytes and it was just a nightmare. I just, I couldn't do it. So that's when I got the iPad Pro 2018 with 256 gigabytes of storage. Each storage configuration kind of defines on your usage of the iPhone, of course. So if you go with the 64 gigabytes, that's more of a basic use. So you're just checking emails, surfing the web, replying to text messages, etc. Even though the text messages sometimes take up uh, storage space. So if you in the, one of those group chats and, and they like to send out videos, GIFs, GIFs, videos, <laughs> then yeah, that's going to take up some space. But 64 gigabytes for a lot of people is actually the perfect amount of storage. 128 gigabytes is for the average user. And like I said in the beginning, I have the 128 gigabyte iPhone 12. But if you're getting a pro phone with 128 gigabytes of storage, you gotta ask yourself, are you gonna be shooting Apple Pro Raw? And then with the iPhone 13, you have the Apple Pro Res, which is for the video portion, because that is gonna add up very quickly. And then you gotta add on the fact of your apps, maybe your downloaded songs. And then you gotta also add in the fact of those iMessage group chats, that adds up very quickly. Now I want to kind of break this down. 128 gigabytes can store up to 35,000 photos, but it depends on those pictures. So each picture that you take, which we're talking about the JPEG format, we're not talking about the Heath, it is ranging between three to five megabytes. So if you want to conserve the most storage, you're better off using Heath. You want to take a look at your camera settings. It's going to tell you all about it right there. And then with Apple Pro Raw, that is taking a whopping 25 megabytes per photo. So that's why Apple, they automatically disable it on the top. You have to enable it because that is going to eat up storage extremely fast. Is it necessary to shoot in 4K? If you just want to quickly show somebody something, you want to lower down the quality to maybe 1080p or 720p. Now, coming from the predecessor, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I had 256 gigabytes of storage and I never, ever ran into low storage. Versus my 12 Pro with 128 gigabytes, Multiple times, I couldn't take a photo, I couldn't download this app. And then with iOS, there's a feature where it can offload apps, so you're getting more storage, but keeping the data of the application intact, it's a mess. So get yourself at least 256 gigabytes if you're planning on shooting any kind of professional photography, videography, and then I didn't even talk about portrait video. So if you plan on doing any of that, a lick of that, you wanna get yourself 256 gigabytes or higher, or even so, get yourself one terabyte, knock yourself out. <laughs> so yeah, for me, getting 128 gigabytes was a mistake. I should've went with the 256, but I was up for the challenge and I wanted to make this video to see if I can handle 128 gigabytes, but nope. All right, bada boom, bada bing, look at my storage. I'm using 122 gigabytes out of the 128. That is, that is nuts, and then, you gotta also keep in mind, iOS is taking some system storage, so you're not getting true 128 gigabytes. Oh, and look, TikTok. TikTok is almost taking two gigabytes. And then of course, I have my DJI app. I fly my drone using this phone. Any of that, you definitely wanna get that system storage intact because sometimes the app like to save it on the iPhone just in case, instead of you, you know, importing it to a computer. It's convenient, but, the iPhone storage is not about that life. 
So yeah, I am struggling with 128 gigabytes and I cannot wait for the iPhone 13 and bump it up to 256 or I might even give 512 a chance. Who knows? I might actually give that a chance. A lot of people like to keep their phone for two, four years. Think about how many pictures you're gonna take, how many apps you're gonna download. So having that storage is more future proof. I feel bad right now, whoever have a 32 gigabyte iPhone right now. That was the wave back in 2017 or 16. It was low then, but they I'm sure you guys are struggling right now. Unless you guys can manage it. If you guys can manage that, then 64 gigabytes should be fine or even 128 for that matter, even double. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I hate paying for things monthly. I just cannot stand it. If I could just buy something one time, I would love that. Like I wish I could get iCloud storage one time buy and that's it. Now, of course, Apple isn't going to really make that much money because that's how they're getting us, getting us with the monthly payments of iCloud storage and Apple Music. That's why I always try to get as much storage as I can because as a person who upgrade iPhone every single year, I just keep everything on the iPhone. Use this as a time capsule. If I want to go back in time, I can always look through my old phone. And then when I get the new phone, I always start as a complete fresh new phone. Something else to take in consideration, do you have multiple iOS devices? See, I have an iPad Pro with 256 gigabytes of storage, so maybe you might not need uh, 256 gigabytes of storage on your iPhone as well. It might be overkill. But at the end of the day, nothing will ever beat a standard hard drive. To be able to store all your favorite moments on a single drive, this is six terabytes, six terabytes of memories, of just priceless memories. Nothing will ever beat that. That's way better than buying iCloud storage every single year. Why? Why? Well, when you could just get this for a hundred dollars, six terabytes, and you have it forever. Oh, and look at my photos. It's taking sixty-six point seventy-eight gigabytes, and in total, I have two thousand five hundred and thirty-nine photos saved. And then, in terms of video, four hundred and twenty-four videos. Some of them are four K. Some of them ten eighty P. It flip flops, and then even so, you have screen recordings, slow mo, portrait shots. The size definitely varies, but this is just what I have right now. Just want to share with you guys. Be prepared. And iPhone 13 is coming very, very soon. I cannot wait. If you guys want to see the unboxing, which I'm going to be unboxing all the colors, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. And why not? Thumbs up on the video. Help me out tremendously. And comment down below. Do you have a 32 gigabyte iPhone, 64, 512? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys. Until next time, have a simple day.